Well, would all the violence and conflict in the Middle East evaporate if Israel simply ceased to exist? My next guest says Israel is not only breaking Jewish law with its military strikes against the terrorist group Hezbollah, but that the state of Israel itself should not even exist in the first place. What you may find more shocking is that the person saying that is a rabbi. He is Yisrael Weiss from Jews United Against Zionism. Uh, rabbi. Yes. Pretty strong words. Yes, so, but uh, this is the view uh, that was shared by all religious leaders throughout, uh, I mean, the last hundred years when the Zionism was, uh, the whole movement of Zionism was created, the concept, the ideology of transforming Judaism from spirituality, a religion into a materialism, a nationalistic goal to have a piece of land, all the rabbinical authorities said this is uh, antithetical with what Judaism is all about, ex expressly forbidden in the Torah because we are in exile by God. Uh, so you shouldn't have a state. You shouldn't have a country. You and shouldn't have a government. We shouldn't have a state. We should be living amongst all the nations as the Jews were doing for 2,000 years as loyal citizens, uh, people who are serving God, emulating God with compassion. And the, the Talmud states clearly that if we will attempt to uh, breach these oaths of God, of trying to leave God, we will just bring to this death and with catastrophic results for the Jews. We find that since the inception of Zionism, the state of Israel, uh, there's uh, a river, an endless river of suffering for the Jews and non-Jews alike. And contrary to what people believe, that there is a religious conflict, we have been living for hundreds of years amongst the Muslims and Arab communities without any UN human rights groups to watch. So life, let me ask you this, Rabbi. Was life better for the Jews prior to the creation of the Jewish state of Israel? 100%. In Palestine, we have the testimony of the Jewish community living there and other lands that they were living in harmony. And they pleaded with the United Nations. In the documents, we have the chief rabbi of Jerusalem said, we do not want a Jewish state. The Muslims, Christians, and the Jewish inhabitants were ignored with the creation of the state. This political Nevertheless, state. you might not have had a country per se, but you were not a stranger to being abused or, or, or slaughtered. Uh, over the millenniums, right? And particularly as recently as 50, right. 60 years ago. Right? There is an issue of being killed because of anti-Semitism. And then there's another issue where you antagonize and you create your anti-Semitism through, anti through Zionism. Doing that, they, in other words, it's not a free-for-all. You'll knock out your neighbor's windows and then yell anti-Semitism. All right, now I know you are an Orthodox Jew. What do traditional Jews think of that position? Well, this is and was, this was the mainstream view of world's Jewish people worldwide, whether it was... Uh, well, I know it was. Yes. It isn't now. So it, what do yes. they tell you now? Well, they've, what they've done is they've... T let's just talk about the religious point of view because we're talking about the Judaism, not people who have left the folds of Judaism. Right, right. The Jewish view is that uh, the mainstream view would be that, true, we shouldn't be having a state, but once it's created, the Zionist uh, propaganda that the Arabs want to throw every Jew into the ocean, and they, there's an ingrained hate against the Jews, that, which they've convinced many Jews to believe. This is why they are fearful of returning the land. The, well, you can't blame them, right? I mean, you have the president of Iran who says the Holocaust never existed, and if he had his brothers, he'd destroy Israel and all the that, Jews. That's also patently false. He has a Jewish community in Iran, and they haven't murdered them when they had the opportunity. So you take him? You don't take him at his word that he would try to kill Jews? He's, he would. He would want to uh, the, the, the dismantling of the political state of Israel. In fact, we, were in a, we went a whole group of rabbis this last year to yeah. visit Iran, and we were taken up by the leaders. We met with the vice president. He was in Venezuela at the time. We met with the religious leaders. All of them stated that, and equivocally that they don't have a conflict with the religious So as long as Israel people. exists, Rabbi, you think just That's itching be, for trouble. Uh, right? Jews are suffering. Okay. The Palestinians and the Lebanese are suffering. We pray for the speedy and peaceful okay. dismantlement of the state. It's interesting, Rabbi. You don't hear that view often. Thank you for stopping by. Very Thank good you. Sir. Thank you very much.